NFTs. What is a metaverse? So these have been huge buzzwords the past few years, but this isn't another blockchain workshop, even though that's what I do. What I wanna focus on today is not the technicals, but what the ideas behind blockchain can teach us about relationships. Before I get into it first, how did I end up here? My journey into crypto started in 2017 while I was at college and I started diving in, eventually putting some money into Ethereum in 2017 of October. So for reference, this is what the market cap looked like when I put it in. It looks good, right? I even put some more at the top. For those of you that got in at 2017, you know what happens next. Let's zoom out a little. Right after, uh, for all of 2018, crypto took a nosedive. This wasn't fun for a college student eating ramen every day, but I had gotten in because it was new, and I resonated with the ideas behind it. So for the last few years, I've been learning and working in blockchain, and I've realized how some of the key principles of blockchain relate to life. There are a few key parts of blockchain theory that I want to focus on. One, it is transparent. Two, it is distributed. And three, it is immutable. If you're new to crypto, hopefully this can put some context to the words. The first quality of blockchain is that it is transparent, meaning anything that happens on chain is visible for everyone to see. This is important because it enables things that happen on chain to trust each other. So how do I apply this to my life? I started living more transparently. By sharing my thoughts online and writing about what I learned, I was making a promise not just to myself, but to the world that I was gonna do what I said I would. Just like everything on chain, being transparent about my goals uh, for everyone to see, I build trust in the community and built trust in myself. It works both ways too. Because everything is public, digging around for the right people can lead to new relationships. In my case, I wrote blog post after blog post until one day an NFT tool that I had written about reached out to me and I landed, ended up landing my very first job at an NFT startup. Here's another example. I wasn't always comfortable sharing my thoughts online. So before doing that, I was transparent about my goals with trusted friends. We created OKR charts, KPIs, and tracked everything from travel, fitness, what we wanted to do with our careers, and we would even do bi-weekly catch-up calls. Because I knew what their goals were and they knew mine, whenever I found an opportunity I thought might suit them, I would send it their way, and vice versa. So we were each other's accountability partners. By being transparent, we created a meaningful, trusted friendship and we helped each other grow into better people. So I think be transparent about your goals and opportunities will come your way. Today, I work on helping founders and developers build on the blockchain, creating resources and workshops that make the journey less painful and hopefully more fun. For example, at our most recent hackathon, we made sure we had masseuses on hand. This was definitely a highlight and I snuck in some massages for myself too, but what I do now ties into my second point, which is distribute your knowledge. A blockchain in itself is a distributed database, sharing all its knowledge across multiple nodes. Compared to a centralized database, which you can see here, um, which relies on one central point of information, a distributed network has access to information from all nodes. In doing so, the network runs faster and it is more efficient. I take this concept and I apply it to what I do in the relationships that I build. So inspired by the blockchain and how it changes knowledge across all its nodes, I share knowledge with the communities I'm in or trying to build to make sure that we grow together. One place that I see this happen a lot is social networks. So Twitter and Discord, especially in the crypto communities, are people upon people just sharing their knowledge and thoughts. And while Maybe not all are in the network's best interest. There are a lot of people out there putting educational content just for, just for the heck of it. So everyone has their strengths. By sharing our strengths, experiences, and our learnings with each other, we can all achieve a lot more. This leads to a saying that I truly believe in. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. 
So being transparent opens you up to making connections with people that have the same interests. Distribute your knowledge to build quality relationships, and that will bring everyone up. So I've been in this space about two years now, and I've worked with so many people I haven't even met in person. Just by tweeting or sharing my ideas, I fostered friendships, launched projects, and built multiple communities, all from being willing to share what I've learned and what I want to do. So here's another example of a project I'm working on, a DAO. A DAO is a community. It's essentially a group chat, and I'm sure we're all in one. The only thing is, Members in this group chat are actively working together to help each other grow and achieve a shared mission. So we've put together a community of over 150 people that are passionate about Web3 and Taiwan. Our mission is simple, help build up Web3 founders in Taiwan. With what we've learned, we wanna give back to the community by distributing our knowledge and resources. So you don't have to be in blockchain to build a network like this around you. Invest in your relationships with your knowledge. Share what you know and build the people up around you. Distributing knowledge helps you and the people around you grow. On to the final point, immutability. The blockchain is immutable. Once things have been printed on chain, you cannot go back and change it. Immutability means you cannot manipulate, replace, or falsify data once it has been created. This gives data on the blockchain integrity and trust, making it a very attractive tool for a lot of applications. You can think like financial transactions, historical data. Immutability applies to life too. How, how many of us have done something embarrassing and, th uh, and you know, spent nights thinking, why did I do that? Did that ever fix the problem? The past cannot be changed, so don't focus too much on trying to change it. What we do have control over is the present and the future. So for example, I can always wish I got into crypto earlier, back when Bitcoin or Ethereum were a dollar each, but I'm in it now, and that's what I'm focused on, building resources so that people can understand it today. The past can't be changed, but the future is up to us to build. To recap, the three main things that I want you to take away from blockchain today is that one, it is transparent. Two, um, two, sorry, it is distributed. And three, it is immutable. So be transparent about your goals. Um, and opportunities will come your way. Uh, distribute your knowledge by sharing selflessly and helping each other grow. And life is immutable. So no matter what you do, embrace it and move on to the next one.